I have now claimed myself as king of the geocachers. Not really, but... Hey y'all, how you doing? How's your day going? John Broyles, the Cash and Cubmaster here, and another high favorite point cash. Oh, yeah. Now this one can only be opened by the true king of the geocachers. A short walk from where I left my humble chariot through the woods to find the geocache. And then I am beholden to a stone near trees. Makes me wonder why would a stone be in all this urban sprawl and woodline? But it's a stone. A misplaced stone. A suspicious stone. A point. God bless. Oh, man. This. Oh. Oh. Ah. When I moved the stone, I found yet another item left by Merlin to show the true king of the geocachers. The inscriptions read, the sword must be pulled from the blank. Stone by the rightful king of geocachers. Now the thing is, sword and a stone, who could that be? Who could it, who could it relate to? Thanks to my knowledge of high school literature and proper spelling. I am able to remove the sword from the stone to which it also reveals the log. So we're going to sign it, put it all back together, scramble it back up. Thanks once again to Nav Mike here in Peoria for another beautifully 3D printed geocache. An excellent field puzzle. No wonder it's got 31 favorite points as of the time I hit the stop button. Because when I do my log online, he's going to get another one. And yeah, this is definitely a... Uh, Oh, yeah. <sighs> now, to return the sword to the stone for hopefully the next cashier to find. Happen to like what you see. Hated my thing, like my little thing about King Arthur and thought this was a cool field puzzle. Hit that like button. If you happen to think I'm ugly and blue TC dresses me funny, hit that dislike button. And as always, Hulk smash on that subscribe button then ding that little bell right next to it so you never miss a single thing. I pull out of the stone. I'm John Broyles, the Cash and Cub Master. It's been another edition of DNF Magazine. We'll see you on the trails.